Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy just the Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. And this one right there is again different. I like the way people are just giving us these reactions to react to. This is just super amazing. It's like uh, there's a lot of diversity going on here. I mean in terms of reactions, which is actually really good. Thank you so much for suggesting this one right here. And uh she suggested she suggested that we should go react to five people raised by animals. Wow. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Throughout history, there's always been stories of people being raised by animals from a young age. You know, Tarzan, Mowgli, but those are just fiction. Right now, I'm gonna tell you about five real people who were raised by animals. As always, we're gonna cut to the chase, smash that subscribe button, and let's start. First up, Marina Chapman the woman raised by monkeys. When Marina was four, she was abducted near her home in Colombia and then later abandoned in a rainforest. It was there when she came across a group of capuchin monkeys, recalling around 20 of them, cause that's all she could count up to at the time. Initially, the monkeys weren't very friendly with her, so she would keep following them around and mimicking them in order to survive. However, as time went on, they slowly accepted her in the group, teaching her how to climb trees, walk on all fours, crack open nuts, and even make a bed up in the tree branches at night. She was also able to communicate with them using body language and gestures similar to theirs. But one of her biggest struggles was getting food. At first, Marina could only eat whatever scraps they left behind. Then later, she learned to follow around the monkey carrying a huge banana branch, and any time a banana would fall off, that was her chance to eat. She lived with the monkeys for five years until a group of hunters found her and took her away. They even almost sold her to a brothel. But luckily, she managed to escape and now thrives in society, getting married and having kids of her own. Next, Dina Sinchar, the man raised by wolves. Dina was only six when a group of hunters discovered him in the forest coexisting with a pack of wolves. The hunters saw this as being unnatural, so they made the decision to smoke out the cave get rid of the wolves and capture Dina and return him back to civilization. Upon examining him, they found that he wasn't able to speak. Instead, he could only growl and make animal noises. Dina also walked on all fours like a wolf and ate raw meat. Not to mention, he would sharpen his teeth by gnawing on bones. For that reason, they deemed him as an imbecile and placed him in an orphanage. Dina showed little or no attachment to other human beings and didn't make much improvements over the years. In the end, he never learned how to speak either and unfortunately passed away at the young age of 34. Up next, the Gazelle Boy. In the 1960s, an anthropologist by the name of Jean-Claude Auger heard rumors of a boy living with gazelles and so he made it his mission to find him. Several days of searching passed by and he finally stumbled upon the herd observing them and trying to slowly gain their trust. Over the span of a few days, he noticed that the boy would eat plants and grass, once in a while taking in lizards and worms. He would mainly walk on all fours like a gazelle, but also had the ability to stand up straight as well. Noticeably enough, his ears, nose, and muscles would suddenly twitch in response to the smallest noise. The anthropologist left and came back two years later with the Spanish army captain in order to capture the boy. But as they tried to chase him down, it's said that he ran off at a speed of 32 to 34 miles per hour and had continuous leaps of 13 feet, being able to escape from them and never to be captured. Next, Marcos Rodriguez Pantoya, the Wolfman. Marco's mother passed away when he was three and his father sold him to a goat herder in order to run away with another woman. Unfortunately, that goat herder suddenly passed away leaving Marcos alone in the mountains for 12 years. One day while in search of food, he came across a cave which had wolf cubs in it. He played with them a bit and then fell asleep there. When he woke up, the mother had returned to her babies with food, but was staring fiercely at Marcos. He began backing up a bit out of fear, however, he was still hungry and wanted some of that hunted prey. After the cubs ate their share, something really strange happened. The mother wolf threw him a piece of meat, Marcos hesitated to take it because he was scared of being bit, but she pushed the meat closer to him with her nose, giving him the signal that he can have it. And just like that, a deep bond was developed and he became one of them. 
The wolves taught him to hunt and survive on berries and mushrooms while learning to navigate through the forest. However, that all came to an end when he was 19. That was when he was found by a civil guard, captured, then returned to civilization. At the time, he didn't know how to speak. He could only growl and howl. So it took him many years of learning and readjusting. But he claims being found was the worst thing that ever happened to him. His fellow humans are nothing but a disappointment as they cheat and take advantage of him at work. These days he's pretty much stuck between two worlds, cause on one hand he doesn't feel comfortable enough going back to humans and on the other hand he's tried going back to the wolves but he's lost the connection. Next, Oksana Malaya, the girl raised by dogs. Oksana was only 3 when her parents pretty much left her outside in the cold one night. Looking to survive, she managed to crawl into the warmest place nearby, which happened to be a dog kennel. She lived with them for 5 long years, and over time, Oksana built a strong bond with the dogs, becoming a part of their pack. So naturally, this girl was becoming less human and more like a dog. Living a feral life and eating their leftover food. It wasn't until she was 8 when the neighbors noticed her. So they ended up contacting the police. Initially, the authorities had a very tough time getting close to Oksana as the dogs were heavily protecting her. But tactically, they did manage to separate them from her and brought her into care. But none of that mattered because by now, it was too late. You see, she was living with the dogs for so long that she was running on all fours just like they were and even lost the ability to speak. Now in her late 30s, Oksana is talking except her voice is very monotone and essentially emotionless. Not to mention, she still shows clear signs of her past life with the dogs. She follows direction well, loves being the center of attention, and when she's given something, her first instinct is to go and hide it. Oksana even has a low tolerance for boredom, and experts claim that she has the mental capacity of a 6 year old. And for that reason, they put her in a home for the mentally disabled. Now, if you were to be raised by one animal, which one would it be? Me, I think I'd go with a lion because who's going to fuck with a pack of lions? Seriously. Anyways, let me know in the comment sections below. At any rate, smash that like button, destroy it, annihilate it, and that subscribe button with the bell notifications turned on. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's pretty much interesting. I mean, um, just to look at it, um, the way animals have that affection, and they they, they have, I mean, their their affection is there. They are more human than 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 the way humans are. You understand? I think I think animals are the best, um, if not creatures. I mean the best living things that ever existed. I think it's more like um, because I think I think now if if you if you put uh, if you tell me today, uh, do you want to be with humans or you want to be with animals? I'll probably choose an animal. Do you understand? Because it's more it, even though they don't speak. But they kind of uh, speak to you in a, in a, a telepathically way, or maybe or something like that. And they, I mean, they're really um, they're helpful at some point. It depends with what kind of animal you're talking about here. But and they have sense of 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 uh, what do you call this? I think they have empathy at some point. They have. Uh, things that we think animals don't have but they do have I think they have all those and I think with them it's on a higher level also I mean at, at a different level because I mean if how does an animal know that this is a baby you shouldn't attack it how does an animal know that this is you understand I mean they kind of really understand how I mean um, how to take care of each other yes you know how, yeah and yeah, and if if I'm to do it, if I'm to be raised by an animal, I'll pick an elephant. Why? I think elephants are huge enough, and they are so protective, and they are so smart. They are very smart. Elephants are the smartest creatures I've ever seen. 
So which one of these stories touched you? Which one touched me? Um, you know, the funny thing is that once they are discovered, they are being taken out of that. Except one. Yeah. Sorry. Except one that went too fast. Yeah, they are they are they are taken out of that cocoon and then the yeah, environment and then they are being taken to civilization, which is it's it's so wrong. It's like you're domesticating someone into a different environment and then you're caging them there. But then don't you is. think humans domesticate animals? Yes, which is also a wrong thing, you know. Okay. It's very wrong, to be honest. What Actually, if we are also domesticated and we don't know? Look at where we live. We live in houses. Are we meant to live like this? Or before we used to live out there? So, I don't know. I'm shocked you said you'd want to be an elephant or be <coughs> an elephant. Yeah. I thought you'd say panda. So it's like, it's either no, your pandas, brain is not functioning or something no, no, tonight. No, no. no, pandas, pandas are so babies. You know, they're like, they like to be babies. Even big pandas. So, it's going to be... The, Pandas want attention. What? So you want so, the attention? No, I don't want attention. I want so. animals that, you know, at least it's so protective. Number one, number two, smart. Number three, I mean, yes, they are huge. You know, they they can foresee things. They can sense danger. They can. I mean, all animals can sense danger, but elephants are more. I think they're smart enough to sense anything and stop actually and fight yeah i don't know for me i guess i'd pick lions as well because they're quite vicious oh. i was actually going to say butterflies because they're cute but i don't understand i don't see how those would protect me otherwise um these stories are very very interesting like I know my sister told me about this family that was raised by animals, but this beats it. It's all. This just beats it. Actually, sitting down and actually watching it brings it to life. I'm just shocked while you're saying uh, it's like it's bad to take them out of this environment. I don't think it's bad. I feel like it's okay. Those they may have been left there by accident or whatever happened you know so why not be with your fellow kind you don't have to be there alone you don't have to be there doing the most i feel like it's okay it's really really okay and i'm glad that actually people actually found them and got them out of those conditions but of course i do understand they they are used to those places and that's become their home i see how that would disturb the mental being, you understand? But mm, it's a tough one. I'm even shocked this is a thing. I'm just shocked that this actually happens for real, for real. Otherwise, uh, it was interesting to watch. If there's anything that like this that you guys want us to react to, please drop the link or the name down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.